waking up early here at the land between the lakes. We got storms pretty good last night. Oh wow. That's a bummer there thing though. Yep, it is steaming, just steamy muggy. So it's about seven in the morning. I slept so great last night. It rained all night and it, that pitter patter just lulled me to sleep. So I'm gonna head on out, see how close I get to Texas today. I guess on a scale, I'm gonna give it a four for fogginess, ha <laughs> ha. Oh my gosh, my camera is just fogged up. Somehow I ended up in Paris, Tennessee. I've been to Paris, Texas, and now I've been to Paris, Tennessee. That's kind of cool. Look at this. It's got to be one of the best signs I've ever seen at a rest stop. Rufus Thomas walking the dog in the pet walk area. <laughs> That's great. What's this one? The Isaac Hayes, Tina Turner, Booker T, and the MG's rest area. All right. a campground called Crystal Springs here in Arkansas. I'm going to check it out and see if they have any availability for tonight. Um, it's about 1 o'clock, I think, 1.30. I started driving at 7 this morning, so yep, I am ready to stop. The clouds are gathering and it's getting ready for another afternoon shower, it looks like, but that's okay. So yep, beautiful Arkansas. You can almost see the ticks moving in the trees from here. <laughs> oh yes, in the very, very buggy windshield. Just thought about trying to find a boondocking spot, but my daughter uh, hiked a trail out here last month, and she said the ticks were so thick. So I feel like at least if I'm at a campground in a little bit of a cleared area, I stand a better chance. But I don't know. I could be wrong. Yep, Arkansas is thick with ticks this time of year, that's for sure. Not my favorite insect. Give me spiders any day. The Washita National Forest here. I sure hope there's campsite available. I'm tired. This is North Crystal Springs Road. This place protected at night with fighting dogs and automatic shotguns, it says. Continue on North Crystal Springs Road for one and a half miles. Uh, I am in backcountry Arkansas, guys. Alright, as I feared, they are all reservation only and they are full. So that sucks. So I asked her if there was any that were non-reservation only around here. She suggested a place, so I guess I'll go back five miles down that road and check out Brady. Dang it. Well, the Brady Recreation Area has campsites available. So I'm going to go and see if I can find one. Yep, she said a couple of them over here are open, but that looks horrible. And she said that she's pretty sure that there's some up here in the trees, so. Let's see. Not a bad place to be if you gotta be somewhere, that's for sure. So I really wanna fly my drone, but as you can see by the size of these trees, there's, I don't know how many get them up and through. I, I don't trust myself as far as landing it back down perfectly between the limbs. I could probably get it up, but I'm not sure. I, that's kind of scary, so. Yeah, it's very woodsy. This campground's a bit of a trip. It's pretty typical of Arkansas campgrounds, though, as far as just their recreation areas. Very pretty, you know, pretty stacked on top of each other, of course. And uh, very nature-y. 
So I've been here about an hour now, and this guy has been solid setting up since I got here. I don't know how many people he's expecting, but I'm going to guess like 20. <laughs> he has a lot of stuff. So you know what? There's nobody at those campsites right there, and there's pretty good clearing in the trees. I think I'm going to give it a whirl, y'all. How do you get the breeze to blow? Get your camera out. Damn it, Jim. 